Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to send feedback to Microsoft in Windows 10. So if you wanted to perhaps send a notification about a feature you liked or did not like, um, you could do so. Um, typically this feature would be present in earlier versions of Windows betas, especially I remember in like Windows 7, Windows 8, um, they would have areas that you could submit feedback. However, once the public release came out, it was a little bit more hidden. However, I still wanted to just share with you guys how to do it in Windows 10, and you do not have to be in the Insider program in order to do so. So that's a very uh, nice thing to know. And you can do it all within your main computer. You don't have to go on the Internet, even though you should have Internet access, obviously, to send your feedback to Microsoft. But anyway, um, if we're going to send some feedback, we can just start by heading over to the Start menu. And we're going to type in Feedback. There should be a selection that says Windows Feedback right above Trusted Windows Store App. And you want to left click on this. At this point, you have to sign in with your Microsoft account. Okay, I just put my password in and then I'm going to sign in here. Please note you do have to have a Microsoft account in order to do this. Okay, so we get a little notification if this is your first time, I believe. It'll say using the feedback app tells us which features you love, which features you can do without, and what could be better. Um, again, everybody pretty much knows what feedback means, so we're just going to assume that you guys do and click on OK here. And there's actually a lot of really interesting information you can get here. You can see different trending um, feedbacks that people have requested in the past. And you can see how many people have upvoted it on the side. You can also see the most recent ones. However, I believe the time indication isn't necessarily the most accurate because I think it's whenever you sign in for the first time and that's when the clock starts ticking on these. So I, I doubt every one of these was from two seconds ago, but you guys get the gist. You also see the ones with the most upvotes. So it looks like this one has about 9,700. It was submitted over a year ago. So if I selected my build, it should show us um, the ones that pertain to my version of Windows 10. You can also filter by suggestions, um, problems people might have, and then you can also sort by feedback that you contributed. And you can also sort by different categories here. And you can always click on this button that says Add New Feedback right here. So if you go underneath any one of these sections, you can have the option to add new feedback. So, very straightforward, and I just thought I'd let people know about it, because it's definitely unlike anything we've ever had before in Windows. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.